Now let's talk about Python Lesson 6. This is a debugging program, so you're not going to type any code, but what you're going to have to do is find up to 10 errors of the code that's already here. Of course, we're going to start with our warm-up, so I have a couple questions here for you to answer. What advice would you give someone who is just beginning to program? And what is your process for finding and fixing errors in your code? So think about those things. Maybe you um, look to see what the error is, or you look for spelling mistakes, or maybe you ask somebody for help. But what kinds of, what do you do to fix errors in your code? And what advice would you give somebody? Once you finish with your warm up, there's this debugging video to watch. Now we have watched it in class before, but you might want to watch it again just to kind of remember some different things that you can do when you're debugging. And then write three things that you learned from the video. And so I'll let you do that on your own. And you can click on the video and it should play. Okay. So you, and, and as I mentioned, we've seen that before, so you shouldn't have any problems with that part. And then we're going to come here to the overview of this lesson. There are 10 errors in the code provided. Your task is to debug all the errors and get the program to work properly. You're going to open the Python program from this link. Now, you need to do it in Chrome, so you can click on the link. But another thing you can do is just copy it. So I'm going to do Control-C. I'm going to open up my Chrome browser. And it says Google, so I know it's Chrome and not um, Edge. And I'm going to paste this in there. And my code is going to come up. Find and fix the 10 programming errors. Document each error you correct by keeping track of the line number and what you did. If you need to save your progress, you know, like maybe if you're finishing halfway through the class period, um, then you can save your URL anytime and then come back and, and pick up where you left off if you don't get it finished in one class period. So there's a, this is a table for you to keep track of the errors that you are correcting. Okay. So we're going to start with, there's a couple different ways you can go through this. Let's look at our code. You might just look at it and notice that there's going to be a problem. So if you, you might just be able to eyeball some problems. As I scroll through here, you see some immediate problems already. Some things that you know aren't going to be correct. If you know some that aren't, are incorrect right now, you could go ahead and fix them. But if you're not sure, you can just start clicking run and fixing the errors as you go. So I'm going to click the run button and right away it starts at line three. Stops at line three. Now can you tell what it is? It says bad input and that's what it says all the time. So it's not super helpful, but you might notice, hey, it's in my comment section and there is no hashtag. So I'm going to put the hashtag there and um, reset it and it's going, it certainly went past that line, so that was a fix. I'm going to come here to my tracker. I'm going to say it was line, let's see what line was it? Three, it wasn't it? It was line three. And how I fixed it was added hashtag in front of line. So you're going to, you know, you could say how you fix it any way you want. It doesn't have to be exactly those words, um, but just kind of document what you did. Now, when I clicked run, it stopped on this line. And once again, it's saying bad input, and it's kind of giving me a hint that it might be a quotation mark. So I can see I started with the quotation mark here, and I did not end with one here. So it's going to be just kind of remembering all the little syntax things. So this was line 13. I can come back here to my tracker. So I added a quotation mark at end of um, URL. So you want a document kind of like that. So I can reset. I can try running it again, and it came all the way down here. Now, do I see any errors on this line? Okay. If I, I can, and if I'm not sure, I can take a look at my other functions, and everything looks good, but I did forget the colon. So this would be line 28. So kind of describe what you're doing to fix the error. And then I'm down here, and this one might be a little bit tricky because everything is saying bad input, but it's not bad. But I can check my indenting. So line 38 had an indenting problem. Now I'm, I'm not going to go back on the tracker all the time, but you need to. Every time you fix a mistake, you're going to come back here, and you're going to add it to your tracker. And I came down here. Now it's stopping on line 45, but line 45 looks pretty good, doesn't it? If when you're running it, it stops at the beginning of the line where there's not even a word. Look at the line above. So is there a problem with line 44? And I would say that this is not indented correctly because it should not be indented. 
So I'm still fixing, and then I come to this one, and it is something to be in the line, but like, oh, well, this one is supposed to be indented. So remember, indenting is really everything in Python. So I do not indent function definitions, but I have to indent everything inside. So I fixed several errors already. And then I come down here, and this one be kind of tricky because once again, it just says bad input, but I'm gonna take a look kind of like piece by piece and you might notice that right here, I've got this extra parenthesis. It's kind of turning blue. It kind of looked like a funny color anyway. So there was a little bit of a hint. Now it's, so even, I fixed all the errors going down, but now it's coming back to this one, import simple GUI. And you might think to yourself, well, what's wrong with that? But look at the spelling. And this one is misspelled, so we fixed that. And then we pop back down here again, and it says something about my frame object has no app. So the, the uh, arrows over here don't always help you very much, but take a look at this line here. And do you notice anything that's wrong with this add button? If you're not sure, let's take a look at these other add buttons. Well, they all have an underscore, and this one did not, oops, and I erased everything. If I do this by mistake, it's not coming back, so I just have to type it. And so that might happen. And now it looks like it's running. So I'm not sure how many errors I fixed, but it looks like I got most of them because my program runs. The images aren't going to show. But that's my fault because I have the wrong images and this one. So if you get there, and there might be some mistakes in here, but I put the wrong images. Notice they don't say Dropbox. So that's just how it's going to end up without the images showing, but um, it should run. And notice that no errors pop up now. And if you get to this point, uh, check your table. So you might have 10 errors, you might have you know eight or nine, but make sure that your program runs. And then I'm going to save this. I'm gonna copy this URL, Control C, put it into my document. I'm ready to do my wrap up and turn it in.